Ananya Bish and I am currently a second year student at IIT Kanpur pursuing BTEC in civil engineering. And today we have with us Animesh Avasti and he is from IIT Kharagpur currently pursuing a dual degree in mm. biotechnology and biochemical engineering. So over to you Animesh, could you introduce yourself a bit and tell us about yourself? Sure, uh, my name is Animesh Avasti. I am a fifth year undergraduate student of the Department of Biotechnology, enrolled in its dual degree course of a bachelor's and master's in technology. I am currently pursuing my majors in biotechnology and biochemical engineer, engineering and my micro specialization in artificial intelligence and its application, studying at the Indian Institute of Technology, Kharagpur. On a personal front, my hobbies are cycling, traveling, and clicking, for, uh, clicking pictures on and I'm from the city of Mumbai, Maharashtra. Okay, that's great. So my first question to you is that what made you choose this branch during your JOSA counseling? Sure. So I've always been um so I've always been fascinated about biotechnology. Okay. So during my JOSA counseling, I had a few options in mind about selecting a particular branch. Um, and since I loved bio biology as well as mathematics, biotechnology yeah. was in one of my preferences. Right, okay. So uh, can a PCM student comfortably uh, take the bio-related branches? And like, to what extent is biology mm -hmm. involved in the courses that you have mm -hmm. studied in this branch? Sure, so um, when it comes to biotechnology, a PCM student can definitely take uh, biotechnology okay. as their majors. Um, it is. It starts with very basic uh, biology, like right. understanding the DNA, and then they start keep on building upon it. So for a person who has no background in biology, it will still be easy for right. them to cope up with the entire curriculum. So that's, uh, and up to an extent, uh, it covers up to a, a pretty large extent uh, over, the, uh, over the course of four to five years. Right. So Madhav, they basically explain you from the basics. So uh, a person should not yes. worry about it, like whether or not they have knowledge about biology. That's great. Yes, definitely. I mean, you must just be passionate about the subject. Right. And that's it. Right. So uh, like what were the major course, courses and electives that you have studied? Could you name a few mm -hmm. and explain briefly about them? Sure. So I am, uh, uh, my majors is biotechnology and biochemical engineering. This, uh, this, uh, the entire curriculum revolves around four aspects. The right. first aspect is life sciences. In life sciences, the core curriculum involves genetics, biochemistry, microbiology, cell and molecular biology, and bioinformatics. When it, uh, the second part is computer science. This usually involves algorithms and data structures and uh, artificial intelligence, deep learning, machine learning, and right. similar courses. Then the third aspect is mathematics, which involves partial differential equations, linear algebra, probability statistics. And the fourth part, which is biochemical engineering, involves chemical process calculation, mass transfers and all. Now, these are the depth courses of the entire curriculum. Right. Hmm. Uh, while we have an option to take electives and additionals and breadths across any department and any uh, field that we're interested in, these electives could range anywhere in between from economics entrepreneurship to history french and right. german hmm. so it totally depends on what you, where your interest lies okay and um, from uh, which year like are you guys allowed to choose electives from uh, mm -hmm. any other department mm -hmm. sure so uh, the electives and additional starts from the second year itself okay so basically, it's pretty yes. chill compared to like if a bio, uh, biotechnology student wants to um, take a minor in economics branch or mm -hmm. like take an open elective. So mm -hmm. it's like it's comfortable for them. That... Yes, definitely. They have the option to take any uh, major okay. minor that they want. Okay, okay. That's amazing. So moving on and talking about internships and placements. So uh, could you share your own sure. internship experience a bit? Sure, uh, I'd love to. So I have uh, five uh, total five internships and three projects hmm. over the course of four and a half years. My internships are essentially in two categories. Uh, right. One are research internships and the other are corporate internships. Okay. So 
when it comes to research internships my first internship was at the indian institute of bioinformatics and applied biotechnology hmm. it's a research institute based out of bangalore and my my internship was for a period of 6 months which was online remote and my role was to uh, write a book chapter and work on computational vaccine design now coming to the other two research internships i have had experience working at university of tokyo through hmm. the university of tokyo summer internship program that okay. project particularly focused on algorithms related to biological data analysis then my third internship was at university of lausanne which is mm-hmm. a university in switzerland this was an on site internship which i did last summer okay. it was a two months internship where i was a uh, part of where i was part of a lab which was interested in understanding the immune response mm-hmm. how you can create vaccines using a computational approach um now coming to uh, coming to the uh, corporate internship size right. i have had two corporate internships okay the first corporate internship was a remote one um it was uh, at neurobit incorporated which is a us based healthcare startup hmm. which gives predictions based on, on which gives personalized medical reports right. based on your sleep data okay the other internship was at apt portfolio which is a high frequency trading firm this internship was through the campus opportunities that we get at iit kharagpur this was a two months internship in bangalore in person where i was dealing with uh, developing the quantitative pipeline of the trading uh, trading um, algorithms mm. of the kinds of firm um apart from this i have three independent academic projects okay. one is an independent project and two are my bachelor's and my master thesis um they are primarily focused on cancer drug discovery as well as covid drug discovery they are interested in a computational approach to predict and repurpose drugs against these diseases right that was really insightful i mean you've really explored and worked on a variety of different projects that's really great to know yes Okay so uh, moving on and talking about placements so like uh, what are the mm-hmm. placement opportunities in your college if we talk about the core mm-hmm. uh, branch of biotechnology mm-hmm. and biochemical and what are the major companies that come to recruit students mm-hmm. sure so when it comes to placements uh, there are no core companies that particularly come for biotechnology okay. hmm. the reason uh, the reason being that currently biotechnology is a blooming field in india while it is also a research intensive field where you need enough research and lab experience to be good enough to work in industry right there are pri- there are primarily hmm. two types of um, companies that either healthcare startups okay. or biotechnology startups hmm. or pharmaceutical companies or established uh biotechnology based companies and both these companies require you to be at least of a phd level uh, qualification that's why for now there are no placement opportunities uh, as such um at i am um, at iit kharagpur yeah okay so um okay so like uh, basically in non core uh, mm-hmm. students prefer uh, going like if they want to pursue jobs mm-hmm. so people usually mm-hmm. students usually prefer uh, the non core jobs i think mm-hmm. yeah sure so there is usually like it depends on the batch but there right. is usually like a 30% and 70% split okay where 30% of the students are interested in core bi- biotechnology exactly. and, uh, it's mm-hmm. related aspects while well, 70% are related to in other fields such as software engineering data science and finance now from uh, statistically speaking from my senior batches as well as my right. own batch when it comes to non core uh, there is there are no barriers on what you want to do what you where exactly. you want to get placed hmm. and it just totally depends on your interests your skill sets and the efforts that you have put into that particular field so i would say that the branch doesn't really matter however the coursework of biotechnology uh, really helps since it has a computational as well as a mathematical component so you can always use that while applying for jobs in any of those non core fields right okay so uh, from your personal experience how tough mm-hmm. uh, did you find this branch and like um, mm-hmm. the uh, did the courses that you uh, did uh involved more theoretical uh, aspect like biology or uh, like they were proper blend of uh, both the engineering and the biology aspect mm-hmm. 
Sure, that's that's a very nice question. So the entire curriculum, in my perspective, is not very difficult. Okay. It's very interesting. It is slightly memory intensive. A few courses are, uh, in, are in which you have to memorize a lot. Right. While most of the courses are just like engineering, just like mathematics, hmm. where if you can understand the concept, you can apply them. Right. So oh, overall, the course, I would say, is more moderately difficult compared to other courses at IIT Kharagpur. Right. Okay. So I think that was it about the internship and the placement opportunities. Uh, moving on and talking sure. about your personal experience at IIT Kharagpur. So how has it been so far being in IIT and studying in one of the most pre prestigious institute of this country? It has been a fantastic experience. I mean, IIT Kharagpur is one of the oldest IITs and you can really see it when you come here. Uh, it still holds the traditions. It still holds uh, the culture and uh, festivals and several other fests and um, traditions that uh, come has been going on and have been passed over several uh, yeah. years at IIT Kharagpur. It's a very humble setting with a humble accommodation and uh, uh, food how um, the campus is beautiful it's huge and has all opportunities if it comes to it has all opportunities in terms of sports tech cultural okay. anything you have the freedom to explore anything you want you can uh, be a, you can explore the field of stand up comedy you can explore the field right. of research you can be a football player so that's the beauty of being at IIT Kharagpur. People here are amazing from diverse backgrounds and you'll definitely find someone you'll like and be good friends. Okay. And um, the alumni, alumni base is amazing. They are helpful. They are well established and they really guide you well. So overall, overall, it has the past four and a half years have been a fantastic experience for me. Right. That's, that's really wonderful to learn. So uh, my next question is that uh, students around this rank usually also like uh, prefer some students like also prefer uh, uh, getting uh, core grants in newer IIT. So like what's your take on this and uh, what do you mm -hmm. think in your opinion should a student prefer or should go for like should he go for a better college or a better branch? Mm -hmm. Sure. So I was also in the same situation when I was uh, right. in the JOSA counseling. So um, the options were very simple. I either take a, a branch like a, a biotechnology at IIT Kharagpur mm -hmm. or go for uh, some core branches like civil engineering at IIT Gandhinagar, right. which is close to my home. Mm -hmm. Now, um, here I would say if you have a particular branch preference that if you are absolutely sure about becoming, say, an electrical engineer, right. then grab the best opportunity that you can get for becoming mm. an electrical engineer. That is the best college that you can get. However, yeah. if you're flexible with your major, mm. if you are willing to study biotechnology or any other major that you are getting, then I would say that definitely go for an older ID because right. the kind of exposure you have, the kind mm. of alumni and fantastic people you'll meet, exactly. that's at a whole different level. Um, you can always choose non-core hmm. opportunities. Right. Non-core exactly. opportunities. And you can always change your department if you want to, if you study hard in your first year. Right, right. So considering that, uh, that that would be my advice to you, that go for, prefer older IITs, as long as you don't have a particular right. branch preference. Okay, amazing. I think uh, that's it about the interview. And it was really wonderful talking to you. Uh, just uh, before leaving, any final message to the students who might be watching this? Sure. So um, my suggestion to you all would be that be excited about the college life. Right. I it, it won't be easy, but you will meet some amazing people. You'll make okay. some amazing friends. You'll learn a lot of things. You can explore your passion. And... Uh, um, that would be it. Um, stay excited and try to get the most out of these five years, four or five years, because they won't come again later. Right. Okay. Thank you, Nimesh, for such a beautiful...